Okay, we will start the post-race press conference for today's 21st annual Pennzoil 400. And we'll begin with Las Vegas native Kyle Busch, driver of the number 18 M&M's Caramel Toyota. Kyle, it's your sixth Las Vegas top five. Another great run. You're in here a lot and with good reason. Can you talk about the uh, the race you had out there, please? Yeah, we had uh, a good race. You know, we just were off a little bit there in the beginning of the race with the cycle tires from qualifying. We just didn't have it early on. Just super, super loose. But Adam and the guys made some... Great adjustments to, to flip that and uh, and be on the tight side for the majority of the rest of the day, but at least it was drivable and we could start making passes and making some gains on people, especially on long runs when they would get loose. Our car would kind of come to life and uh, and be super fast, probably lap 20 on into a run, you know. So, um, yeah, I just had a decent day, I guess. Uh, certainly would have liked to have been able to run down the four or catch the four and put on a race, but um, they were just so far out there and so far class of the field all day long. I don't think anybody was really keeping up with them. So... Proud of our effort and uh, what we were able to do here today, and and uh, we'll go to Phoenix. Thank you, Kyle. Any questions for Kyle? Start over here with Mike, and then check in the press box. And Bob. Mike, Mike Hemmer, USA Today. Kyle, when the when the driver has a car like Kevin had today, do, can you do anything during the race? Adjustments, throw throw wild stuff at it to try to catch up when they obviously are so far ahead, or, or do you just stay on course? No, I, our balance was really, really good there the last 100 laps of the race. I don't think we could have made much ground um, by changing anything much. You know, it was just pure speed, whether it's uh, under the hood or whether it's aerodynamics or, or whatever it is. You know, they've obviously got it going on right now, and, and we just missed it a little bit. Um, you know, we kind of fought track position all day. Every restart, I didn't have a very good restart. I would lose track position on restarts, so that wasn't helpful. But, um, you know, our car was obviously always better in the long run anyways, so... Uh, if you can't fire off on the short run, you do lose those positions, but then you make them back. It's just all about trying to make that back plus some, and uh, we never got that plus some. Bob, uh, Bob Hawker, ESPN. Harvick has said that maybe the Hawkeye system and also the change in the splitter rules has kind of brought everybody or has helped them. Have you noticed any change in the way your car drives this year compared to last year? Um, I would agree with Harvick. I think that um, – I think he's right in the sense that uh, the OSS, Bob, that's a dollar. You called it Hawkeye. Um, I think uh, I think that that's definitely brought in, you know people closer together. I think the splitter rules obviously brought in people closer together. There were some guys that were really really aggressive with that stuff, and they're really good. And uh, there were guys that that weren't so aggressive with it that uh, maybe kind of showed a little bit slower speed, but they were fast the way they were last year, and that's translated into faster than some of the guys that had that taken away this year. So definitely some of the rule changes has leveled some things out. In front here. Ed Graney, Review Journal. Um, you were able to give the autograph helmet to the One October family, won the trucks, had such a great run here. Was this any different than coming home before, or was this a different trip because of things like that and had what had happened here? Yeah, I mean, uh, Vegas strong. You know, it's certainly a, a cool opportunity to come out here and put on a good show in front of the hometown fans. I certainly wish Saturday was better than what it was. We just uh, were so far off and the race was so short, we just didn't have time to get it back, you know. But um, overall, um, Friday and today were, were really good runs for us and had some fun while we were out here. It was great to meet that family and spend the few minutes that we did out there on stage and, and, and be able to give them uh, a token of our appreciation and, and sadness for their loss that they had, um, obviously nothing will ever bring back their son, but um, you know it's a little something to try to give them some joy about being able to spend the day out here at the Speedway and, uh, and just have that remembrance of, of having fun. Any more questions for Kyle? We'll go here. Kyle, Andre Haynes, EMG Radio Show. What's your greatest takeaway today? Uh, I think the biggest takeaway is just the way the race kind of transitioned. Uh, as a 400-mile race, the race when we come back here in the fall, late summer, uh, is going to be a 400-mile race. So the adjustments and the things that we were making today are definitely going to be useful for what uh, what's going to happen when we come back. I think the track's going to be a lot slower when we come back for uh, for the summer race with the heat and everything else. But um, you know, just learning how the track kind of moved around and the different lines that we were all running and stuff, it seemed like you can go about anywhere on the racetrack. So. Um, you know, again, this, this place has finally kind of aged a little bit where you can move all around and all over, and um, it's, it's no longer one of those new repaves, so it feels pretty good. We'll take one more for Kyle Bush and let him go. Just to remind, just to remind us, Kyle, you're not running. Uh, are you going to run the triple header again in September? I'm not allowed to. No, just okay. the cup race. Okay. Kyle, thank you so much for right. your time. Appreciate it. Thanks. Yep. And now we are joined by the driver of number 42, Credit One Bank Chevrolet, 
third place finisher, Kyle Larson. Kyle, this is your uh, second consecutive top three finish at Las Vegas. Another good one, following up a win yesterday. Um, maybe talk about uh, the race out there, please. Uh, yeah, it was a uh, you know good race for us. Um, you know, finished third, I think, at both stages, and third in the race. So, um, you know, solid day. Uh, you know, had to fight pretty hard there a few times throughout the race, just from losing a lot of track position on on the pit stops and stuff. Um, I, I don't honestly know what what was going on yet with the pit stops, but um, you will know, we'll watch some tape, and if it was something I was doing wrong, we can fix that up. But um, yeah, I mean, it was a good day. Our credit on big Chevy was fast. You know, nowhere near Harvick's. Uh, level but I felt like for most of the day we were second or third best so you know happy about that and um, yeah you know with coming back you know, later in the year with for a playoff race it's nice to know that you're you've know, been faster now the last two years and hopefully can continue that thank you Kyle any questions for Kyle Mike Embry USA Today when a guy is as much faster as as Kevin was today do you reach a point during the race when you're sort of resign yourself to, hey, I'm probably racing for second unless he you know, blows up or something happens? Does it does it get that bad when a guy's this fast? No, I, I don't think I don't think ever in a NASCAR race you can think that because um, it seems like so often you know a caution will come out with less than ten to go and you have to come down pit road and that can change the race. So you, know, I wanted to to keep myself you know as high up as I could. Um, to just give myself a shot on pit road or something like that or for a late race restart um, You know, you you never know what can happen um, At any point or throughout the a cup race, but especially there at the end, you know, everybody gets so aggressive. So um, Yeah, I mean if 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 you know, it's gonna go green the whole time then yeah, you're like, okay I'm racing for second or third right here, but um, Yeah, you, you know, like I said, you, you can never count yourself out in a cup race. Uh, Bob Hocker, CSPN. The Hendrick guys seem to talk about trying to learn this new body. You're running well. Do you feel like you have it pretty much handled, or do you feel like you see a lot of improvement yet as far as what you guys can do with the new body? Um, I don't know. I mean, yeah, it, you know, for whatever reason, it definitely seems like, you know, the other – I wouldn't even say the other Chevy teams because RCR, I feel like, is running about as good as they did at this point last year. Um, but Hendrick, for, for some reason, you know, they seem to be off. You know, it was kind of odd to lap, you know, three out of the four cars there in the first you know, little part of the race. But, um, you know, our team, you know, I, I guess, I don't know, whatever we do different, um, you know, helps us out. You know, all we, all we really get from Hendrick is their engines. So, um, you know, they could be doing stuff way different than us. And, um, but yeah, you know, I, I feel like at this point in the season, I feel like we're, we're probably actually a little bit better than we were, um, you know, last year. Uh, you know, I, I, you know, I say that, but, you know, at Atlanta, I felt like we, maybe we ran one or two spots worse than we did all day. And then here, I felt like we ran probably three or four spots better than we did all day last year. So, you know, if we are better, it's barely, barely anything, but uh, you know, it's it's good that we're not any worse than we were last year. And can I follow up? Just uh, you you ran the race yesterday, obviously, and today. Yesterday it seemed a little bit more racy, a little bit less track position. Is that just, is there something about the cup cars that it's just a little bit more difficult <coughs> here? Well, I just think there's, I just think there's better drivers with more experience in the cup series. So, um, you know, all of our you know, cars are, are you know, maybe stuck to the track a little bit better, but I just think when you have you know, a field full of, of cup drivers who have so much experience, they kind of know where they need to be, you know, each, you know, each lap of the race, really, and, and you know, really good at feedback. So everybody's always getting their cars better throughout the race. Um, so I think that's why sometimes you can see you know, less passing. You know, if you compare trucks to Xfinity, I mean, there's better racing in trucks in Xfinity because there's – well, that and there's just a lot of less experienced guys that uh, are wild, <laughs> um, but uh, it just yeah. I mean, I think the the more you go up the ladder, you have more experienced guys that uh, know what to do with their car and and where to position themselves. More questions for Kyle down here. Upstairs, we're clear. Owen nope. Once, twice. Kyle. No, no questions from press box. Thanks, Owen. Thank you, Kyle. Appreciate it.
Good luck next week.